actually wearing a different color of lipstick today. I always wear the same one. I don't know how I feel about this color. It's weird seeing it on me because it's not the one I'm used to. But ColourPop still super hard to put on, so hot mess. Hello, how you doing? My name's Jay, and I am the biggest hot mess ever. No shame! The book is The Machelius? Machevelian? The Machevelian? That was a really loud slap. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with a another unboxing video. I have three packages to unbox since I've been at university. So without further ado, let us get started. The first package is from Tor. I I'm assuming that this is all from Goodreads because I honestly have no idea, but that's where all my books usually come from. Ooh, it's pretty. Ooh, it's a hardcover too. Your girl likes her hardcover books. This book follows 24-year-old Sophie Hansa, who finds herself in a San Francisco alley one minute, trying to save the life of a strange woman. The next thing she knows, she is actually on sea. She has no idea how she got there, but she is now in this strange new world called Stormrack. Stormrack is a series of islands that has their own economics, their own policies, and their own language that she has never heard before. Sophie doesn't actually know where she is, but she has stepped into a political firestorm and conspiracy that may actually destroy the world she just discovered. In the strange island of Stormrack, everybody seems to know who Sophie is, but she has never seen these people. The people of Stormrack are trying to exile her. Being stubborn, Sophie decides that she wants to stay and not be cast away by people that she doesn't know and that don't know her. So, with the help of a sister that she never met, and a captain who kind of wishes that she never showed up, she decides that she is going to fight this political battle and see where it takes her. I think it sounds pretty cool. I've never really read a piratey book. Like, it kind of seems like it would be a pirate book based off of the cover. I know, never judge a book by its cover, but I'm gonna say that it's a pirate book right now, so deal with it. But it sounds interesting, and I'm very excited to get to it. The next book is from... Um. Miss Regina Elliott Ramsey in MA. Is that Massachusetts? I don't... I still don't know my states, guys. I'm sorry. It's never gonna happen where I know my states. The book is The Machivalian. I'm probably pronouncing that so ridiculously wrong, but whatever. And it is by Regina Elliott Ramsey, and this is a murder mystery, I believe. This book follows Dr. Clara Brindini, and she is an art expert. She tries to unravel a mystery behind a famous painting, and this lands her in the middle of a political murder mystery kind of thing. After a series of murders, Clara finds herself holding the key to a 70-year-old secret, and she is also now the target of a FBI agent who is actually a diabolical killer. So, sounds right up my alley, to be honest. I love myself some killers, so you know your girl's probably gonna enjoy this. And the final package is from... Um, Simon is used to Canada. Open, please, open. Can't get it open, apparently. It's just not, it's not happening. My name is not Carol, so that's awkward. The book came with, like, a little postcard, right? So I got a little postcard. And it says, Happy Reading, Carol, because apparently my name is Carol. So thank you, Simon and Schuster Canada. I think you, uh, sent this to the wrong person, but, I mean, the front of the book said Jan, so I mean, that's good. The book is Juliet's Answer, and it is by Glenn Dixon, and apparently it is a memoir about one man's search for love and the elusive cure for heartbreak. So, we'll see uh, if I ever actually read this, because I don't really read a lot of memoirs, so we'll see if it happens. But, I mean, I'm sorry that I took your book, Carol. I hope that you got a postcard that said JN on it, and maybe we can be friends. Find me, girl. Hit me up. Alright guys, so that was my unboxing for today. I will hopefully let you guys know what I think of the books if I ever read them because you know your girl never actually reads the books that she gets. So, I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!